Hello my comrade, my name is Alexander and today we're gonna go through the technique of how to do the castaway. I cannot go into this way. So anyway, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Alexander and we're going through the castaway today. The requirement from this trick is to actually know how to do a backflip and all other things we're gonna see directly into the following steps. So let's go to our first step, the correct takeoff for this element. The correct takeoff is 70% of success of this element. So, in order to proceed, I would like you to find some kind of obstacle that looks like this one, that has straight edge and that is gonna be comfortable for you with a grip for your arms. So, we're gonna start with simply positioning ourselves on the edge of this obstacle with our thumbs going directly vertical, pointing to the ground. So, starting from here, we must not go too much forward, too much backward. We must stay onto our arms and then we will start to get a little bit forward. I would say 45 degrees. So we're keeping ourselves vertically and then we're going to lay on our hips over here. And starting from here, we're gonna go into the 45 degrees and we will try to keep our legs not straight but we will start to bend it in order to push after to make a flip. So, we're hanging in this position, then we're going 45 degrees, our legs are going backwards, and starting from here, we're gonna to go for a take. -off. So, one, two, take. -off. I hope this part is not really hard for you, and therefore, I would like to talk about the mistakes. So, Number one mistake that people usually do is that they're going really, really far away from the obstacle. So they're going forward normally and after that they're just pushing themselves away from the edge. This is not really correct technique. There, you, must have, uh, you must find a balance into this thing. So you must not go really far away, but you also don't want to stay over the obstacle because otherwise you can really hit your legs while rotating the edge and this is our second most popular mistake in order to avoid that don't keep your arms uh, vertically all the time you must go i would say 60 degrees so the angle gonna change from this to this and in the same at the same time you must not lose the height of your spin so we're gonna go here 45 degrees, here and here. This will give us enough speed in order to start our rotation and enough height in order to perform the move. And to get more into details, let's see this in the slow motion. Get yourself in the comfortable position on the edge of the obstacle. Now with keeping your arms straight, start to lean forward. Get your body into the 45 degrees position and now start to bend your legs and take off from your arms. Now swing with your legs in order to start the rotation. After tucking, simply land on your feet. There's one good exercise for you in order to understand how to take off correctly. We're gonna get into the same position and starting from here, we just need to do a monkey on the block, like this. So, because of this exercise, you will actually understand how to swing with your legs and how to work with your arms correctly. So once again, our thumbs pointing down over here. And now from this, we're going into the 45 degrees position and trying to do the monkey on the top. So. This one is pretty simple yet useful. And when we're good with the taking off, we can proceed directly to making a castaway. The castaway is all about the timing. So in order to keep this timing good, we need to learn how to make an actual castaway and then we need to make a backflip. And in order to make a backflip, we need to follow these steps. We're going 45 degrees forward, we're starting to take off and during the takeoff, on the highest point, we will start to push with our legs in order to save energy from actual castaways. 
So, when we are at this position, we need to add more energy with our legs in order to perform a rotation over our body. So, in order to go into details, let's see this once again in slow motion. In order to make a rotation fast and do not lose the height, we must do a perfect timing. When your legs and body reach the highest points, start to push off from your legs in order to start the rotation. Then push away from your arms and tuck. Then simply land on your feet. There is another thing that has to be mentioned. Remember that during the takeoff, your arms must be straight all the time. You can bend them when you're going forward, just in order to make it easier for you to take away from them. So when you're going forward, you can bend your arms, but here you must keep them straight. And another thing is that it's not a big deal when you're going really far away from the obstacle, because in this case, you will just land on four your parts of the body. But the scary thing is when you're actually rotating over this edge. In this case, you can hit the edge with your legs, either with your head. And it's not the result that we want to get from this trick. In order to avoid this, we must remember the following rule. When you're taken off, you must see your arms and see them from the 90 degrees, so vertically, directly, or even more further away. So remember to practice takeoff as much as possible because as already mentioned it's almost 70 percent of the success of this move well train safe thanks for your attention my name is alex and i'll see you during the next lessons cheers guys <laughs>